All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for my Iron Man reaction and commentary. This is gonna be friggin' sweet. I'm so excited to be starting my MCU journey here on the channel. And as always, I gotta keep it real with you guys. I have seen this movie before, but it was 15 years ago, once in the theater. I don't remember anything about it, except that there is a NASCAR scene with whiplash in it. Other than that, I don't remember anything, but that's why I'm excited to be getting back into it and revisiting it all and hopefully pick up on some new things and just remember it all again. So this is where the MCU started. All right, way back with Iron Man. I feel like you're gonna pull over and snuff me. What, you're not allowed to talk? No, you intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. Honestly, I couldn't call that. Ooh, come on now. Having a hard time not looking at you now. Is that oh, weird? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a flirt. True, you went 12 for 12 with last year's maximum cover model. I love you, such a playboy. I don't remember what's happening here at all. This is great. Who the frig is attacking them? Whoa, look at a blast. What a spread shot there to rip through a Humvee like that. Stacking the trees, this whole bomb. Oh. The irony of it all, eh? The fact that it's his bomb that blew him up. Oh, he had body armor on. But the impact was enough. And as always, if you want to watch along for the entire length of the film with me, that'll be available on my Patreon page for people who sign up over there. However, you will need your own copy of Iron Man to sync up with my timestamp and watch along with me, but it'll be awesome. Right, because he's got to get his heart issues, right? Right, okay. Iron Man, let's go. 36 hours earlier, okay. And at 17, he graduated summa cum laude from MIT. He's a super genius, right? He's then, like, what is he, like the second or third smartest person in all the MCU? Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic being number one, of course. I don't know, the Pims are up there too, right? Today, Tony Stark has changed the face of the weapons industry. Creating weapons for world peace? Eh, I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, hey? It is my honor to present this year's Apogee Award to Mr. Tony Stark. Tony? Where is he? <laughs> what are you doing, Tony? He's always working. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, he's working something, all right. Hello, ladies. One more round. There you go. There it is. That was easy. He don't care at all. He's just living in the moment. Caesar, that which is Caesar. There you go. Really? He just gives the award away. He doesn't give two shits about anything. I love it. Can I ask you a couple of questions? She's cute. She's all right. Hi. She's, she's Hi. cute. Yeah. yeah, you can talk to her. A merchant of death. That's oh, not bad. Wow. It's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. I guarantee you, the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll start making bricks and beans for baby hospitals. Ooh. You ever lose knowledge that your whole life? Be prepared to lose a few with you. Oh snap! Oh my god, and she actually hooks up with him? <laughs> what? She's come in there to report, <laughs> interrogate him and everything, but he's like, you know what? Who cares? Living the life, eh? The playboy life. He comes a long way, doesn't he? By the end of it there, he gets with uh, pepper pots and everything. She'll find her way out, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> After all these years, Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. Including occasionally taking out the trash. Oh, that be snap! <laughs> what a bird! All right, little Miss Priss there thinks she's like, you know, so awesome and trying to... Why did she just suddenly come off being insultive towards Peppa? Is it Pepper Pots or Peppa? It's not Peppa like Peppa Pig. <laughs> Pepper. Pepper Pots. Are you trying to get rid of me for? What, do you got plants? Oh. As a matter of fact, they do. I don't like it when you have plants. Oh, what? I'm allowed to have plants on my birthday. Oh, it's her birthday and you didn't even remember, Tony. Come on. Well, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. Oh, really? And? Oh, it was very nice. <laughs> wow, that is the definition of a rich, arrogant man who's got no time for anybody else, doesn't think about anybody else, doesn't care, only about himself, his goals. Also, though, he's a super genius, so his mind is racing constantly, right? Like, he's always trying to do multiple things at once, but, you know, also, it's his personality. We're not drinking, we're working night. right now. We're talking about a nightcap. Hot sake? Yes, too, please. No, just, I'm not drinking. That's what I'm talking about when I get up in the morning <laughs> and I'm putting on my... Tony didn't want to do any work at all. Oh, my God, and look at the flight attendants. Hello! My God, what kind of lifestyle is he living? I'm not jealous. Not jealous at all, right? No, no, no. Not me. 
Steve, is it better to be feared presentation? or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? Oh, the Jericho. The Jericho, break the wall down! <laughs> the Jericho missile? What a name for it, I like it. Oh, shit. Oh, we're catching back up to where it started, okay. Because it said 36 hours earlier, I forgot about that. Oh, God. Oh my God, he's hooked up to a car battery? <laughs> It's like a friggin' horror show here now. Imagine waking up like that. I removed all the shrapnel I could. There's an electromagnet. Okay. Hooked up to a car battery. And it's keeping the shrapnel from entering your heart. Ooh, okay. As I do. Tony! Stop! He says, welcome Tony Stark. The most famous mass murderer in the history of America. Ooh! What a title to give him. He wants him to build it. I refuse. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna let you refuse, Tony. Oh, the most mass murderer of all time. Because of the weapons he's producing could just like wipe out cities, probably. He thinks he's keeping world peace, but that's fun until they get into the wrong hands, right? People with ill intent. He's gonna carry the battery with him wherever he goes, keep him alive. What a kick in the balls that gotta be, eh? You're walking through this group. The fact that you're just seeing your weapons being used by them. It says uh, for you to start working immediately, and when you're done, it will set you free. Oh, I'm sure he will. No, he won't. Exactly. There's no way he's going to let him go free. He's either going to keep him to keep making more missiles, or he's going to kill him so he doesn't be able to create new weapons for the enemy, right? That is your legacy, Stark. Your life's work in the hands of those murderers. Is that how you want to go out? Hell no. Or are you going to do something I about it? Do anything that could kill me. This is going to be my workstation. I want it well lit. I need a soldering station. I need helmets. I need goggles. I would like a smelting cup. To be put in that position. He was ready to give up. A buddy talked him into it. I like that. They call themselves the Ten Rings. The Ten Rings? Sounds like a friggin' Shang-Chi thing, doesn't it? I feel like in the Marvel Universe, Tony Stark is the most technologically gifted character, right? Next to Forge. From the X-Men, because Forge can his mutant power is to invent and create anything he wants. But as when it comes to just sheer IQ and technological skill, I think Tony takes the cake with that one, right? Oh, is is, is this where he's making the chest thing? I forget what they call that. That doesn't look like a Jericho missile. That's because it's a miniaturized arc reactor. Arc reactor. We gotta do. Right now it's coming back to me. He makes the uh, silver. Like your traditional Iron Man look, right? With all the metallic gray, almost like the first appearance of Iron Man from the comics. I love how he's like making them believe he's making a missile, but in reality he's just using it to make his own prototype Iron Man suit that he's going to use to break free. Got a fan? Yes. And you, Stark? So you're a man who has everything. And nothing. And nothing. What a quote. Comment below, would you like to have all the money and power in the world like Tony Stark, but you'd have no loved ones, no friends, no family, no lovers, relationships, nothing like that? Or would you rather just live a simple life, but be surrounded by people you love, right? Friends, family, loved ones, a marriage, you know, white picket fence, that whole thing. Comment below, let me know the type of person you are. Are they going to catch on that he's uh, just wasting time? Oh, yeah. Right? Like, why would you need to make robotic legs for a missile? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God, they're not going to kill him, are they? I've got it. Oh, no. They might just burn him. Open your mouth? Oh, come on. No. Can you imagine putting a hot coal in your mouth? Oh, you want a delivery date? Tensions are high. I need him. Oh my god. You have to tomorrow. Putting the fear in him now, giving him a time frame. There you go. Get to work. Whoo! The original Iron Man mask. And I love that they're true to the comics and they're actually going in with the silver suit, right? So he knew where the cameras were when he was building it off frame. But now they caught on. They got the door rigged up with explosives. 
No shit balls. <laughs> it's on now. No going back. Initialize the power sequence. Okay. Quick before you're out of time. Ooh, tick tock, man. Tick tock. Right. Every other hex ball. They're coming. Nothing pretty. Just get out. Need more time. I'm gonna go by you sometime. Stick no. To the oh, is he self sacrificing? Self sacrificing himself to save Tony? Friggin' right? Not all heroes wear capes, right? Look at that guy. There'd be no Tony Stark if it wasn't for him. He's just shooting the air to scare him. I guess he doesn't want to kill a man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I like the crushing sounds. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Look at it! <laughs> I love that he's still got super strength in it too because he's like boom and it's, you just hear a big crush. How freaking badass is this? I like how he's like the horror character here, you know? Like the, <laughs> the bad guys are actually afraid of him. What weapons does he have in that or is he just gonna pummel everybody to death with his fist? <laughs> Reflect it right back in his face. This guy is not impressed. His plans for global domination. Oh no, he's dead. Get up! <laughs> and he's gotta fire it like that. He's almost like he gotta like cock it first before he can fire it. We gotta go. Move with me. Come on, we got a plan. We're gonna stick to it. This was always the plan, Stark. Really? Come on, you gotta go see your family. Get him. Family's dead. What? I'm going to see them. He's happy to die. That'll make it easier on Tony. Don't waste your life. He sacrificed his for you. Don't waste it, like he said. A big defining moment for Tony's character here. Right? Because he's so selfish and that kind of thing. And to see somebody do the ultimate sacrifice, you know? But your life on the line for him. To give him a chance to live. Woo! My turn. Yeah! Ooh, he's gonna ignite all of that fuel, all that explosives around. Look at him, he's just burning it all. You don't want them to have anything. That's a cool scene, I like that. Look at him. He's also... Friggin' thrusters in it. He can fly in that thing? <laughs> At least it's saying. So much for that. But he got out. Right? And then now he's going to have a change of heart in selling, uh, or who he sells his weapons to, right? Yeah, definitely two key things there for the character of Tony Stark. He'll be a little less selfish and think more of others and value and cherish his life a little more. And at the same time, he's going to be more careful of who he sells his weapons to. <laughs> he's not going on a stretcher. Nope. Too much pride. Your eyes are red. A few tears for your long lost boss. Oh. I hate job hunting. Oh, right. Yeah, vacation's over. Real quick, everybody, check out my new superhero merch, along with a few other things that are now available at my Newfie Styles Etsy store. Whether you're into eye catching designs or simply want to rock a statement piece, we got you covered. Our graphic tees are more than just a piece of fabric, they're wearable works of art. They're a canvas for your personality. You'll find a design that speaks to you and lets you stand out in a crowd. Newfie Styles offers an extensive collection of graphic tees to make heads turn wherever you go. And speaking of standing out, our mugs are a perfect way to start your day. Sip your morning coffee or tea in style with our unique and vibrant designs. So if you want to elevate your presence with a touch of uniqueness while also supporting this channel to keep bringing you videos like this, then why not click the link in the description below. Head on over to Newfie Styles on Etsy and pick up some sweet merch. When you get there, be sure to follow the shop as I'll be adding new designs weekly. Remember, it's not just fashion, it's a statement of who you are. I want an American cheeseburger. Okay. To call for a press conference now. Call for a press cheeseburger and press conference. Okay. Okay. I thought he was going to immediately be like, I got to go get some. Nope. Agent Coulson. I'm, I'm not part of the press conference, but it's about to begin right now. I'm not a reporter. We need to debrief Mr. Stark about the circumstances of his escape. Uh, First appearance of Agent uh, Coulson. Hey, would it be all right if everyone sat down? I saw young Americans killed by the very weapons I created to defend them and protect them had become part of a system that is comfortable with zero accountability. His stocks will plummet now. He don't care, though. 
effective immediately. I am shutting down the weapons manufacturer. <laughs> Biggest news ever. <laughs> what do you call those things? What do you think the over under on the stock drop is going to be? Tomorrow? Exactly. Optimistically, 40 points. I don't want a body count to be that's, our only that's legacy. What we do. <laughs> Show me. Rody your peppers. <laughs> I want to see. Okay, he's like, yeah, there's the breakthrough right here. Give people a new heart. Right? Saving lives instead of killing them. Uh, how, big how big are your hands? What? How big are your hands? <laughs> what a thing to say to your secretary. How big are your hands? Get down here. You alive? It was. It is now an antique. He made a jewel. Swapping it out for an upgraded unit. And we're getting... Whoa, fine. Whoa, whoa. What that do you want me to do? Put that on the table over there. That you're just going to gently lift the wire out. Yeah, it should be fine. It's like Operation. You just don't let it touch <laughs> the soccer ball. <laughs> it is just like Operation. Oh. oh. She probably should have took her <laughs> ring out first. It's not pus. It's an inorganic <laughs> plasmic discharge. It's don't let it touch the eyes. Eyes, eyes, when you're coming out. That's what I was trying to say before. Sorry. Make sure that when you pull it out, you don't pull out the, the, the magnet. At the end of it, that was it. Oh, I don't remember this at all. I'm going to cardiac arrest because you what? yanked it I thought out you said this was like safe. Out lure. We got to hurry. Okay, it's going to be okay. Don't waste time. I, I'm going to make this okay. Oh. She got a metal watch yeah. on and everything. Ever, ever ask me to do anything like that ever again. I, I don't have anyone but you. No, oh, here we go. He's getting real with her now. He's so calm that he's going into cardiac arrest and he still just makes jokes. Destroy it. Incinerate it. Oh. Is he talking to the robot? Yeah. Right there. She's looking at that. She's going to keep that, isn't she? Uh, she's sentimental. She's going to keep that as a memory to look back on or whatever. He's making so a Mark II Iron Man suit. You don't want this winding up in the wrong that hands. voice, right. Jarvis. Jarvis becomes Vision, doesn't he? See, it's all coming back to me. I totally forgot that Vision in this is based off of Jarvis. Instead of just giving people weapons, he's like, I'll be the weapon to make sure that the right thing is done. Right? Done and look alive. We're going to stand by for fire safety. You, roll it. What? <laughs> he just got smoked on the ceiling. <laughs> this is a flight stabilizer. It's completely harmless. <laughs> They're making the case, and your new direction isn't in the company's best interest. I'm being responsible. That's a new direction. Tony, I'll be in the shop. Out of his own company. Hey, 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 Tony. Okay. Listen, I'm let me have the engineers analyze that. You know, draw up some specs. No. Nope. Toby wants what's best for the business, I guess. But Tony's got a different mindset going on here now. He wants. He's got a vision for his company. Ooh, he's getting it. Nice progress. Please don't follow me around with it either, because I feel like I'm going to catch on fire spontaneously. They have things almost like that in real life now, don't they? More of like the jetpacks, I guess, but I've seen some kind of, didn't I? I thought I'd seen some kind of jetpack with like hand thruster movements before, too. Somebody tried to recreate an Iron Man suit on YouTube, I think. Didn't they? Did it? <laughs> yeah, I can fly. Ooh, so cool. Yeah, I can fly. Here we go. Now this is what we're talking about. Look at this sick animation. Like, this is good animation for 15 years ago. Woo. Still terabytes of calculations needed before an actual flight is a Jarvis. One. Sometimes. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I don't remember what happens. He's confident in his technology. Oh, everybody in the city is gonna be like, I swear I seen a UFO. That's the thing with Tony, he's so bold, he's willing to take risks in the name of science, right? No. It's really pushing it to the limit, isn't it? Fearless, man. Fearless. What is he doing? No baby steps with him, is there? Jarvis is shut off, it got that cold. Oh, he's back out of line. Yeah, I don't remember him falling to his death. Ooh. What visuals! Oh, oh, can he stick the Good landing? Nope. <laughs> I was just thinking, hey, could he just stick the landing? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. What a beautiful thing. This, the small little nuances of the relationship building there, even though he's still like. 
you know, out flirting with people. Well, at this point, he's not out flirting with people, but he was. But you can clearly see she has feelings for him. What's he trying to reassemble the armor? Yes. Shall I render using proposed specifications? Is he drinking athletic greens? That's what I drink every morning. Friggin' loves it. Throw a little hot rod red in there. Yes, that should help you keep a low profile. There we go. Yeah, I like it fabricated. Paint it. Ooh, this is where he gets the colors. He's inspired by his hot rod. Hey, Tony. Oh my god. Sure don't. Oh, <laughs> burn. Great, oh, Stan is half. <laughs> so there's a Stanley documentary coming out on Disney Plus real soon, or it might already be out. I'm tempted to do it. I mean, he's going to watch it. I just don't know if I'm going to record it for the channel or anything, but I love Stanley. Let's just put something on the books. How about the 24th at, oh, at 7 p.m.? He's looking at Peppa in a different way. Well, it was in front of you the whole time. What are you doing here? Want to dance? Oh, no. All right, Thank you. No. I, I, I always forget to wear a deodorant and dance with my boss in front of everyone that I work with. In a but I could fire you if I had to take the edge off. I don't. I actually don't <laughs> think that you could tie your shoes without me. Oh, snap. Really? What's your social security number? Oh, she realizes he's looking at her different. Right? Meanwhile, Coulson just watching like a creep. <laughs> He's just keeping a close eye on Tony. You're my boss, and I'm really dancing with you. No, know, because really it makes it me look like way. wearing this ridiculous dress, and then oh, we were dancing. She's like getting all flustered, everybody. Oh, she's coming in for a kiss. Tony's just standing still. I would like a drink, guys. Oh, shut down. I expected Tony to be the one to move in, and he didn't. What? I don't remember that scene at all. I would expect that to go the other way. It seems like he was the one starting to get feelings, but he's not used to that. Oh, Start. speaking of... Okay, oh, here we go. Hey. Carrie. Christine. That's right. Is here. this what you call accountability? A town called Gomira. What now? Oh, he recognizes him. Got a weapons rolling through. How many did you take? Yesterday. Huh? What's going Tony, on, Tony? My God, can't he's afford working to be behind his back. When I was naive, sending before, weapons. When they said, "Here's a line, we don't cross it." Who do you think locked you out? I was the one who filed the injunction against you. Betrayed by his partner, the partner that used to work with his dad. Wait a minute, where's Whiplash? <laughs> I thought this movie had Whiplash in like this NASCAR scene. That must be one of the other ones. Oh, he's, that's not going to sit well with him. Come on now. Just watching TV and seeing all the weapons you manufactured murdering innocent people on another side of the world. I think our man's going overseas. What do you like? <laughs> this is where he gets the idea for a repulsor blast to weaponize his suit. Oh, he's feeling badass. Ooh, the suit's all painted up now. Sweet. Look how long it takes him to get his suit on here. But like down the road, he ends up getting it so he can just like press a button and it's like the whole suit is on him in like a split second. But at this point, it's like all oh, got to be manually put on him. There we go. They are so screwed with Iron Man coming in like this. Look at him. He's killing everybody off and taking the women. Oh my god, are they lining them up for execution or what? Woo. The boy running back is getting him killed. He probably would have got killed anyways. Oh. Oh. Superhero landing. <laughs> That's how you make an appearance. That sound. That is like the coolest thing. Jeez. I like that they didn't hint that upgrade to us. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't show that he was working on shoulder cannons. <laughs> he's all yours. Oh, that's how we get the revenge. Just leave him to the... Oh, he's going to get tore apart. Go get your weapons off. Here we go. They got their hands on the tanks? How badass was that? Did he shoot it down a barrel at a tank? Well, 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 buddy. I guess you won't be ruling the world after all. Hello. Tony, it's Speak up, please. <laughs> Who the hell is that noise? <laughs> Sounds like 
Someone stepped in and did huh. your job for you. How do you sound out of breath, Tony? Right now, right now and it's about to be blown the kingdom come. That's my answer. I love how he's a compulsive liar and just trying to cover his ass. But he's just doing it to get Rhodes going, I think. Supersonic flight! Who needs a fighter jet when you got an iron suit? Come on! Ah, Holy! Thing just dropped off the radar, sir. Nope. <laughs> This is not a piece of equipment. I'm in it. It's a suit. It's me! Ooh. Yeah, call it off. Call it off. Oh! <laughs> on your belly. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on! Hold on! Oh, get the oh my god. Ooh. You're responsible for that, Tony. No! Come on, Iron Man. Get in there. You get a clear shot, you take it. No, 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 no. You won't have a clear shot because it's going to be too close to your... Oh. Nice! Nice! You owe me a plane, you know that, right? Yeah, well, technically he hit me, so... Now, what am I supposed to tell the press? Uh, training exercise. Isn't that the usual BS? Fortunate training exercise yep. involving an F-22 <laughs> Raptor occurred. I designed this to come off, so... Ow! Hey! Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. <laughs> what a lie. bullet hole? going to give you an earful. But Tony got the taste of being a hero now, right? Well, well, well. Look who's working with the enemy. Compliments of Tony Stark. If you kill him when you were supposed to, you'd still have a face. Trinkets to kill a prince. What the frick is that? What? What did he do? Technology. What did he do? He put some, like, ultrasonic thing next to his ear and it caused all these veins to come out? Alright, let's finish up here. <laughs> He's taking over the whole camp. Recruit our top engineers. I want a prototype right away. Okay, he's building his own Iron Man suit. Does he do that? I'm trying to remember, like, the big bad nemesis of this film. Now I'm starting to think, yeah, it's him. But I don't remember what he's doing. I guess he's just building his own Iron Suit, is he? Probably under executive files. If not, they put it on a ghost drive, in which case you need to look for the lowest numeric heading. They've been dealing under the table, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to find my weapons. You know that I would help you with anything, but I cannot help you if you're going to start all of this again. There is, there is no benefit. There is nothing to suck. Well, then I quit. No. You stood by my side all these years while I reaped the benefits of destruction. You're going to kill yourself, Tony. I just finally know what I have to do. Exactly. But Pepper's just worried about him. Come on, Pepper, come around. You're all I have too, you know. There you go. Whole lot of feels there. We get a brief moment of Tony getting real, you know? Not putting up the Playboy act, just being, letting his true uh, thoughts and emotions out there momentarily. Sector 16? Oh, well, what well. Are you up well. To, Tell us that the target you paid us to kill was the great Tony Stark. Fushy's finding out that. So, that uh, yeah, he was behind it the whole time. Look at him walking in so smug, khaki. Oh, there you go, discreetly hiding the hacking device. Clever, smooth move. Let's get that evil monologue now, come on. Now I realize Tony never really did come home, did he? Breaks my heart. Oh yeah, I'm sure it does, because he's not making weapons of mass destruction. I think he'll be all right. Better get back there. Sealing it with the newspaper. Is that today's paper? Check your sleight of hand now. He knows that she's up to something. He just didn't let on, right? See if she was snooping around. Download complete. <laughs> yep! What now, buddy? <laughs> Get an appointment. Oh. Did you forget about our appointment? Nope, right now. Come with me. All right. Good. Coulson got your back, You've been right? in your life. Right. He got shield. got your back now. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Impossible. Tony Stark was Ooh. able to build this in a cave <laughs> with a box of scraps. That guy is not Tony, not Stark. Tony Stark. Exactly. That guy is not Tony Stark. He doesn't have a 200 IQ. What is that device? I thought maybe, well, maybe the other guy had a chip in his head or something. It's a shame the government didn't approve him. There's so many applications for causing short-term paralysis. 
Mm. It was just <laughs> fate that you survived that. He's freaking taking his heart. One last golden egg to give. Yeah, the power zone, the iron suit. Oh, oh what a masterpiece. Look at that. Freaking betrayal. Weapons will help steer the world back on course. Yeah, with right. The balance of power. Your, your course. Yeah, your power. Come on now. He's a pretty cool villain. He's definitely got that whole arrogant villain vibe going. Too bad you had to involve Pepper in this. I would have preferred that she lived. What a thing to say as you walk away, leaving him there to die. Oh my god, he's in rushy paralyzation wore off. She put the heart in the thing. Yes, there. <laughs> I just thought of it as he was going down to the elevator. I'm like, where's he going? I was like, he won't have. To, I was first. I was thinking he's not. He doesn't have time to build another one before he friggin' has a heart attack. No, don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. You know, it's dramatic. Even though I know he doesn't die here because he's in later films, I still find it. Oh, look at that. Ah, that crude suit is gonna be no match. Looks like they redesigned it a bit. Yeah, they made some upgrades. No, oh, we didn't have the time to get it in him. Oh, okay. he did. He did. Five ages, they're about to arrest over that. That's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. We're going to need an Iron Man, right? Come on now. There it is. Oh, wow. What's that? It's like a little device. It's like a thing that's going to pick the lock. You might want to take a few steps back. <laughs> oh, no. Noise. I had no recollection that that was the main villain. Was him in a in a the first version, Mark One version of the Iron Man suit. Need me to do anything else? Keep the skies clear. <laughs> what a line! But he's still got the hole in the room. He didn't fix it. Damn! Damn! Whoa! He's like, I gotta get me one of them. Next time, baby. Yeah, War Machine. He'll become the War Machine. War Machine looks cool because of all of the big ass guns and everything that comes off of it, and missiles and everything. But there's something about the sleekness and the like the energy blast of Iron Man that is just is a step above War Machine. Did Iron Man have a villain named Titanium Man or something? And is that who this is supposed to represent? Comment below, let me know if I'm right or if I'm totally wrong, or maybe clarify it. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Run, brother! Run! He's gone insane! I know. Listen, you better get out of there. Oh, we just burst it up. And I like how they made him big. Where do you think you're going? The services are no longer required. Oh, come on, Iron Man! There we go. And I always like when the villain is bigger. Than the hero, you know, it just adds that more menacing nature of it. Even if he does have a inferior suit. I love this suit. Put him down. Divert power to Chester. There you go, chest blast, a uni beam, or whatever they call it, right? I think that's what it's called. Only 19% power left. <laughs> Take your foot off the gas. <laughs> She's getting her family out of there. Can't blame her, I guess. Here we go. Dude. He's got all these guns on him and he just likes using vehicles as weapons. It's awesome though. It's what you want in a superhero fight, right? Thrusters too. In maximum altitude, with only 15% power, the odds of reaching that. Altitude. I know the math. Do it. Woo! Don't question Tony, but his math. Why's he taking him to the sky? If dude's got 100% energy and you got 19. Scramble the jets. The jets ain't gonna do jack shit. Your people just a training exercise. All right, Rhodes looking out for him. He's trying to get him to freeze up or what? Yeah, that's probably what he's doing. What's he thinking? His suit. Maybe Tony made upgrades to his to handle the cold, or his can't. My suit is more advanced in every way. How'd you solve the icing problem? Exactly. Icing problem. <laughs> I will look into it. <laughs> oh, 
I love it. Because of his arrogance earlier, pushing the limits of the suit is exactly what he needed to defeat him. Two, oh, two percent. Jeez, all right. Now running on emergency backup oh power. my god. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Just a quick burst, quick thrust to prevent you from falling. Hot. Tony! I'll be right there. Oh. He didn't work! Jeez. Odds are stacked against you. You could do it. I have to overload the reactor and blast the roof. Oh. Well, how are you gonna do that? You're gonna do it. He's gonna, gonna blow up the building. Up here. I like it. There you go. Crank it up. <laughs> this looks important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, took out his visuals. I like it. You gotta keep your distance. I never had a taste for this sort of thing. I like that we can see their faces now. Get that emotion. It's ready, Tony. Get off the roof. Does he know about it? He doesn't have the headpiece in. Right? Woo! He didn't hear that from Pepper because he doesn't have comms anymore. Trying to rid the world of weapons. You gave it his best one ever. I'm gonna kill you with it! No! You ripped out my targeting system! Oh, that's why he missed. <laughs> Just oh, he's do way it. off! Do it! Do it! Ooh. How come Tony's not getting fried? Oh, down he goes! Oh, he's going right into the reactor. Oh! enough energy there to keep your heart beating at least there you go just enough it's like a heartbeat right the flicker of it yeah you know, if i were iron man i'd have this girlfriend who knew my true identity she'd be a wreck she oh be right get me a drink she moved in for a kiss and you didn't left me there by yeah. myself right right will that be all yes oh it's still awkward we'll get there we'll get there Sorry, Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? Hardly to make wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I never said you're a superhero. Oh, well, 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 you're putting your foot in your mouth now. Stick to the script, man. Stick to the script. The truth is, no. I am Iron Man. Ooh! <laughs> All that cover-up in place, and look! <claps> Bonus scene, here we go. I am Iron Man. Fury. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Who the hell are you? Nick Fury. The first appearance I'm of I'm here Nick to talk Fury. to you about the Avenger Initiative. Ooh. Little did everybody know what that would become, right? All right, everybody, that was awesome. So if you're interested in getting my complete review and thoughts on the film for over a several minute long video that's available on my Patreon page in a segment we called Reeling It In, the link for that will be down in the description below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this particular video, be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and watch one of these awesome things before you leave. Peace and love, everybody. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.